new social enterprise that focused on future STEM careers for female high school students in Niagara was held recently at Brock University. Tonight's event is uh, particularly for young girls in high school. Um, we called it uh, the Young Enterprising Women, uh, a night with STEMpreneurs. And the objective is really to introduce career uh, women who are in the STEM field in Niagara to uh, high school girls to give them some inspiration and know that women from Niagara uh, do participate in STEM. Now for those who may not be familiar with the STEM acronym, can you break it down for us? science, technology, engineering, math, and these are the careers of the future. Um, it's what uh, we want the next generation, particularly of young girls, to participate in. We want to see uh, their presence as uh, technology changes and as the future comes at us. Um, and I think the panel is going to kind of be rounded out between young, uh, beginning of their career, and as well as kind of end of their career, and tell us a little bit about what that journey looks like at both spectrums. So what are you hoping that these young women take away with them tonight? They're going to be inspired, they're going to be curious. Curiosity is a wonderful gift, it is a wonderful thing to give. The young women here today are largely here because of their curiosity and because they're hoping to win the scholarship to attend the annual Enterprising Women Awards Gala. But most of all we want them to think hard, to look inside and to ask themselves deeply uh, why and to know that they have the potential and the possibility to do that which they seek through hard work, perseverance, uh, camaraderie, helping the next one as well as asking for help, all of those things. We're going to cover it all tonight. Madeline, why are events like this important for Brock University? This is important because I think we can showcase a lot of the great programs that are happening here at Brock already. So we have tons of fabulous programs in the math and the sciences. And as well, we have a, an engineering program. So we have uh, the ability to do a minor in engineering with a master's and an undergraduate on the horizon. So I think it's really important to showcase what we're doing, but more so I think it's to really engage with the community and uh, bring young girls in here to let them see what's possible and what kind of careers and businesses and things that they could do in the future. So it just gives them ideas and, and to inspire them for future uh, ideas and innovation. Jaden, had you thought about a, a STEM career before actually coming to tonight's event? I had. I'm really interested in engineering and science. I like biology, so I was looking into careers and university programs with that. So I was just looking for different opportunities and what I could find out tonight. From a parent's perspective, how is it important to be involved in the decision making for your daughter's future? I think it's really important and I think part of it is just, uh, you know, events like this, exposure to different activities. There's so much out there, but just I think really um, finding things to get involved in and exposure, there's so much out there. So um, it's great for them to see different aspects. Now you have one final piece of this exciting night. It's about an essay contest. Can you tell me about that and who can be included? We're going to unveil this amazing race. And what it is is an essay contest. And the girls are going to get one week to write an essay, four to 500 words, and talk about why STEM is important to them. Um, at the end of this one week, there'll be a deadline. They'll submit online. And what's going to happen is we're going to pick two winners from the Niagara area that are going to actually represent Canada down at the Enterprising Women's Conference in Florida. So not only will they get a chance to have a great night tonight, but two of them will experience this wonderful conference of uh, entrepreneurial women who are all through the United States as well as hang out from other high schools who are participating at satellite events just like this tonight. The next Women in STEM evening is taking place on Wednesday, April 22nd. You can visit Stephanie's Facebook group for more information. In St. Catharines reporting for The Source, I'm Lori Taraba.